Hello everyone and welcome back as always I am Dor and today I have quite a few vault runs to get through but before we get to that I need to mention two things real quick. So to the people that were in the discord or are interested in joining the discord it should be linked down in the description below I do apologize for deleting it but without further ado we have 12 vaults to get through so let's get to it. So starting things off in vault number one all we have is just afterlife we don't have any modifiers to this so that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, well, moment of truth. Let's hope that the redstone is working. So we got one, two, three, four. Oh, sweet. All right. All right. Two, three, and four. Maybe I have to wait a little bit longer, and I did not. All right. Sweet, 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 sweet. Our first time actually getting this to work. I really hope we didn't just lose anything from that. That was a little unfortunate to have that thing blow up right then and there, but there we go. We just got a ton of loot from that. That is pretty sweet. And before anybody points out that I didn't use the Pickering at all during that vault run, you would be correct because I totally forgot about it. I had it in my hotbar and I could have swapped over to it and used it in the mine room, but I didn't. Uh, that was my bad. I'm not used to it just yet. I will get used to it. I'm going to make sure that I actually use it in this next vault here, but I didn't use it in the first one at all. My bad. All right. Vault number two is starting us off with Furious and Strong. So mobs deal 50% more damage. Ooh, I think that might be the first time we've come across that modifier, I believe. So the third vault is only going to have crowded on it. All right, well, vault number four is not starting off on a good note here. We have difficult, crowded, and unlucky. So I might kind of just pivot and kill as many of the vault fighters and normal mobs as I can. So I know that may have seemed like a waste of a crystal, but for me at least, it really wasn't because we had crowded and unlucky and difficult. So I figured by killing the, the normal zombies and stuff and then killing the vault fighters as well, we had a better chance of getting vault diamonds from that than going through the chest. Like we still may have gotten vault diamonds from the chest like normal, but I'd rather just farm up a bit of soul shards and get a couple diamonds that way as well, which made it a lot easier for me not to have to worry about getting swarmed by, by stuff over and over again while we're trying to go through chests and stuff. So hopefully it's not too big of an issue. We have a couple more crystals to go for today and hopefully we can get the diamonds we need. Awesome. So the fifth vault here, we got extended and we got speedy and frail. It's also a scavenger vault, which if we're able to complete it, great. I'm again, I'm looking for diamonds. So if we complete it, fantastic. If not, I'm not too stressed about it. All right, well, vault number six has crowded difficult, and it's another scavenger vault as well. So I am going to actually loot this time around because I am running a little low on crystals. So I would like to complete what I want to complete today, and not looting this vault would not allow me to do so today. All 
All right, so this is not going to plan exactly. I wanted to loot and go through. I made it to like the second or third room straight ahead of us, and I, I can't go anymore. I don't have my idol. My idol was broken almost instantly here. The the drowned dudes spawn in with tridents, and the tridents do so, so much damage. Um, I didn't even realize how low I was. I got hit with like two tridents, and then I died, or my, my idol died at least. We have a couple of the things up here for the scavenger. We're not going to be able to complete it. And right now, I'm basically just trying to camp the spawn room. I would stay in the water like I did on the other vault. But we also have guardians spawning in this water pond, at least. And they, they do a bit of damage as well. So I might honestly have to just bail because we don't have our idol. So if we die, we lose everything anyways. Or we lose our loot anyways. And we really can't do anything else right now. Uh, I'm going to try and farm up a few more of the Vault Fighters. Maybe I'm able to get a couple diamonds from this. I really don't want this to be a complete waste of a run, but it's really shaping up to be a complete waste of a run. So that Vault was really bad. It was effectively just a Soul Shard farm, basically, because we didn't get anything else. We burned through a bunch of our health potions, and the combination of Crowded and Difficult was not super duper good. Uh, we didn't even get close to anywhere near completing the scavenger thing. We got a few of them because I did stay and farm up a bunch of stuff. I didn't realize how good this thing would be because I just stood on the boat in the middle of the water and just kept pinging things over and over again. It took like three or four hits with this and it would die. So that made it a lot easier for me not having to actually stay in the water with the guardians getting zapped every now and again or taking damage from the zombies. So it made it a lot, lot easier. Uh, we did get a fair bit of shards. We got 107. Not the best we've done today. And we only got one diamond from that, so not great. I'm going to sort my stuff out, refill my stuff, and we're going to run another one here, it looks like. And real quickly here, before we actually jump on into this next vault, we have two skill points to spend. So we are dumping those into dash at the moment. And with that done, let's jump on into this next vault. All right, vault number seven only has resilient. I am in a very good mood. This is going to be very good for us, I hope. All right, well, to start off vault number eight here, we got Crowded, Safe Zone, Hunger, Gilded, Strunk, and another Scavenger Vault. But the Hunger thing should be negated because of our idol currently. It has Hunger Immunity on it, so I don't think that's actually going to affect us at all any. But I'm hoping that this vault is actually really good because I am out of crystals. This is my very last crystal, and if I don't get what I need to get right now, then... Um Kind of kind of ruins my plans here for the next episode, unfortunately, but hopefully it's it's pretty decent and we get some good stuff going here. So if you thought we were done with the vault runs for today, you would be wrong because the last three or four vaults have not been super great. We've also had two vaults that were just kill vaults basically because we had crowded and some other stuff and I didn't want to really risk it. So we've had two basically stinkers going on here. So what I had to do was take all of the wither skulls from today's runs. We have 17 of them. We also got lucky with one of the soul flames, so hopefully with this last one, that'll be it, and we'll have all the stuff I need to do what I need to do today. And then once we're done with that, we're also going to try a raffle crystal as well, because I want to keep this streak alive. We have two weeks in a row where we were able to get the, the raffle box, and hopefully we're able to do it again. We do have one more vault, or one more raffle ticket in one of the vault runs today as well. So if we do fail the one that we have, we can try again with the secondary one there. But we only have two tries this week. Hopefully, again, with this vault run, we get what we need and we can be done with the vault runs for today. It's been a real long day. All right. To be honest, I forgot what number we're on. We're either on eight or nine, but we started off with an epic room or omega room with the big bird in the middle here. So that's going to come in handy. Hopefully the loot's decent. Sweet. We have two omega rooms back to back. We have a paint room right after the bird room here, so that has to be a really good sign, right? I mean, if I if I don't get the last things that I need for this run, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little sad. It's been it's been quite a day, 
and I don't want to have to run more vaults if I don't need to. All right, well, here goes the raffle run. We have safe zone raffle and extended. We don't really mind the extended because I don't think that changes the the raffle time itself. So that doesn't really matter for us. Um, let's see, what else is there? We have we have safe zone, which is going to be nice. Things may not spawn on us too, too frequently here. This is not looking too good, though, because that's two rooms now with no, uh, no thingy. I'm going to run through like I've been doing and hope that I can find these things quick enough. Okay. Found one. We only have four. I didn't even pay attention to how many we needed. There's number two. And number three. Great. And there's number five. That's amazing. Uh, let's get these things done. Let's also set this because it's about to be out of time, I believe, unless I did my time wrong. And come here, buddy. Need to make sure we kill him. Uh, we have a lot of apples on us. Where could he have teleported to? Is there a downstairs? Oh, please die. Please die. Please die. Uh, 19 seconds, I think, before we're out of time. Oh, that's really bad, too. I didn't have my dash generated. Ugh. Please die. Thank you. Man, we just burned that idol. That is so unfortunate. That thing was really good. It had cooldown reduction. It had uh, hunger immunity. And it also had in increased attack speed. That stinks. My, uh, my dash wasn't charged there. I hit the button and it didn't bounce me. That's my bad. All right, well, we're going to do the same thing we did last week, which is just leave the boss box there until Thursday's episode, and we'll see what we have in that and in the the raffle box as well. So we actually completed that raffle vault in 2 minutes and 18 seconds, so I think the extended modifier on that crystal actually had an effect because we were just now entering into the 25-minute mark when the vault normally would begin. So we did this very quickly. We did it faster than the last two runs combined here, which is pretty nice. We are also not done with the vault runs for today. So we're still missing a few items here. We need about a stack of star essence. And I only have three more crystals. I don't have any more ore laying around. I don't have any vendors selling any of the crystals. So either we get the stuff we need from these last crystals or we won't be able to pick up the mod today like I want to do. But hopefully it doesn't take all three of these crystals to get the last remaining items that I need, but I guess we can see. All right, vault number 10, 11, I don't remember to be honest. I've lost count and I probably should have looked, but we only have frail on this, so it should kind of be good. I'm going to break as many chests as I can and kill the vault fighters like I've been doing. I, I don't remember what gives a star essence. I think chests have a chance of getting it, and then vault fighters also have a chance of dropping it. So that's all we're looking for. I don't need the diamonds to kind of spoil it a little bit. I just need the vault essence. Or not the vault essence, the um, star essence, dang it. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I wanted to get that box. Okay, whatever. All right, sweet. We got another treasure room here. I will build up my little defense thing around this thing just so I don't have stuff falling on me and we can check it out. And it's another good room here. This is amazing. This is great. That's not great. That's not what we wanted. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and kill what I can and hopefully we can get the stuff we need from this room. We're going to have a bunch of the gilded chest, which is great. I also need to keep an eye on my health. My health is just dropping like crazy and I keep getting into this bad situation today. All right, that took longer than I anticipated, but uh, we got all the gilded chests. We just kept having stuff spawn on us, unfortunately, but we do have a ton of stuff, hopefully, and I'm going to continue looting here. And to round things off for vault number 12, this should be the final vault unless I get really unlucky. I literally need 10 vault essence or vault uh, dust. Dang it, I, for I forget what it's called. Star essence. There we go. I just need 10 star essence. 
And if we manage to kill the boss, we should also hit level 50. So, I mean, it's kind of like a like a two-in-one thing here today. Was not the intent, but it is what it is at this point. We're already good. What withered me? I don't know what withered me. I guess that's the thing I have to worry about now. But hopefully, while we get through this, we're actually able to get this done. I would really enjoy not having to run one more today. So I feel like I forgot to mention at the start of that vault, but the modifiers we got were Lucky and Scavenger. We didn't complete the Scavenger thing again, but we did open a ton of chests, and hopefully the Lucky modifier here kind of benefits us with the amount of loot that we got from this. And we also hit level 50, so now the pool of loot that we get from vault runs should be increased a little bit here. It changes every 25 levels, so now we should be good. I don't know if it's going to have any effect on the raffle box on Thursday. Maybe it does, maybe it won't since we didn't run it at level 50, but who knows? We'll see. And we can also spend the two skill points that we also have as well so let's increase our soul hunter perk and that's going to give us a 50 percent increase in soul shard harvesting so now with all of the vault runs done we can hopefully make the last remaining knowledge stars that we need so let's grab all of those things right away here we're going to grab the star essence the vault diamonds and the laramar gems i am going to leave everything else in here for right now I also forgot midway through which vaults the compressed blocks were coming from. So some of them don't have compressed blocks in them because I put them over here because I didn't want to mix things together for, for each run here. But anyways, let's grab the rest of the star essence and stuff that we need as well. So we got three diamonds from this run and we got some more star essence. I didn't pay attention to how many we had a second ago. I do apologize. But we got 32 star essence from vault number three and five more vault diamonds as well. And I'm also gonna check the boss boxes as well just to get the extra star essence as well here. But moving on to vault number four, we got nine more star essence, five more vault diamonds, one more piece of Laramar gems, and that's all we want. We also have the extra raffles ticket in this one here. Then for vault number five here, we got eight more star essence, two more vault diamonds, three more Laramar gems and that's it for right now let's grab vault number six we only got six star essence one vault diamond and one laramar gem not fantastic vault seven isn't too bad we got 15 star essence four vault diamonds 10 laramar gem that's great we also got a ton of uh, compressed blocks as well the boss box only has one star essence and moving on to vault number eight we got 28 star essence two vault diamonds and four laramar gems as well we might need to take all of the ore as well and break it down I might need to do that. Moving on to number nine, we got 21 star essence, two vault diamonds, and seven Laramar gems. And then moving on over to the boss box, we don't have any star essence. So moving on to vault number 10, which was the raffle vault, which we only got one soul shard and nothing else. The box over there is our loot for it. So we'll see what that is on Thursday. Vault number 11 had 35 star essence, which is great. We also had two more vault diamonds, eight more Laramar gems, and that's about it. How about the boss box? We got three more star essence, so that's great. And on the final vault of today, we got 31 star essence, six more vault diamonds, and four more Laramar gems, and that is it. So I really hope hope this is enough to get the things that we need. I also need to grab the stuff from our boxes here because that should be more than enough for what we need. Let's also grab the diamonds and for right now we'll leave the knowledge stars there. Where is my workbench? So we have enough diamonds to make five of the blocks here. I don't need five knowledge stars. I only need four. So next up here, we need a bunch of this. So I am just going to do this number here, turn all of this into the stuff that we need. I don't really know what else this is used for. I can't wait to come to regret that. So we are going to have to fortune some stuff here because we don't have enough Laramar at the moment. So let me take that and take this. That's going to give me two of them worth of it. So let's plop those there, plop those in there. And then we'll use the rest of these to make two of those. So we should only need 26 Laramar. Hopefully this gives it to us. And yeah, we got a little bit over a stack. Okay, so we need two more of these things. So let's get those going for us. And now we should be able to plop those in there. And we have enough of the Laramar now to turn into the last remaining things that we need. And now we can just do this and we should have all the stuff. There we go. We have four of them worth of it. And we also have a leftover diamond block that uh, we might use. Actually, no, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to hold on to it. And just to double check and make sure today was not a big waste of time here. This is 11 points, right? It is indeed. All right. So let's eat all of these.
And with those points, let's pick up Batania, and next episode we can dive into that. So with the knowledge points out of the way, let's roll all of the vault gear that we got. We got 18 pieces of vault gear to go through, so let's hope that one of these is better than what we're wearing currently. So out of all the stuff that we just rolled, none of it's really that much better than what we have on right now, so I don't think I'll use any of it. The only thing that I may end up using is the Tenos Idol here that has cooldown reduction on it and two more levels to it, so if we end up losing this one, we'll probably end up swapping over to that one. So next up here, let's open up all of our relic stuff. So let's do these two now, and then we can also open up all of these things. We have a lot of them. How many do we have? We have 229 of the relic booster packs to go through, so hopefully we get something here. All we got from 229 of those was a mystery box. Oh man, okay. I'm pretty sure both of these are duplicates as well. There's the chess piece and there's the red cupcakes, so that's fantastic. And that's all the stuff we got from those mystery boxes. Nothing in here that's too important for us. And we also have two Pandora's boxes, so we could get something good or we could get some kelp. Let's see, we got a vault gear weapon thingy and a kelp. Okay, so not a complete terrible thing. What is this, by the way? An axe with Scrappy Plus. Come on, give me something good. Oh, it turned yellow on the name there, so it's a rare. Ooh, it has Withering Cloud 3. It does 11.9 worth of damage. And then moving on over to our vendors and our statues for today. We have a ton of these guys. I'm going to place all of these statues down so that they generate. We should have enough of these statues currently to make another big statue already, I think. And as far as the vendors go, I'm not going to keep too many of them. I'm going to put them in a storage chest for the time being because I don't know what else to do with them, but the magnet guy is going to get put into the uh, machine. The vault plating is going to get put into the machine. We also have another one selling an enchanted book, and I totally forgot about it, but I need to show you guys the other enchanted book that we had the other vendor selling. This guy's actually selling vault diamonds, so that's fantastic. That's really cool. We have another vault cookie guy that's going in the trash pretty much, and that's kind of all of the important ones. All of the gems and stuff will go into the machines as well. Those aren't going to get chucked away, or not really getting chucked away. They're just going to get put to the side until we're ready for them, once we get into the Eternals and stuff. So last episode, we had this vendor selling an enchanted book. I didn't realize it was actually going to be a good book, but he was selling Looting 4. I haven't bought it yet, and I will eventually end up having to buy it when we need it, but I have the ancient tomes already, so I don't need the book just yet. And then the vendor for today is selling Power 6 as a book. So I don't really use a bow and arrow anymore, but maybe. Maybe I'll swap on over to that and use it a little more frequently. Who knows? I don't want to pay 15 silver for it, but if we need to, I can. And I guess it would also help if I pointed out that I added in a couple more vending machines here, so I kind of sorted things out a little bit more so that I don't have to scroll through a big list of items here. So the top left vending machine sells all of the consumable items for the vaults here, so all of the food and all of the magnets and flasks and stuff that we can consume are in the top left guy. Then on the top right one, we have all of the vault dust stuff, so the essence and the the star essence and stuff as well when we have those in here those go in here i have the mystery boxes for right now because i didn't know where else to put them and then the bottom right one is all of the mod items so right now we have a bunch of storage upgrades and stuff in this one we have the enchanted books we have more vault plating for some reason i guess i forgot that i had them up there but it's fine for right now and then the bottom left one is all of our vault gems and stuff that we can buy from our vendors so i have everything kind of sorted now instead of having everything in one big cluttered list all right well we have all of the little statues generating stuff for us let me take all of the dead ones that we have we might have enough to make a statue right now i don't know though i could do the math real quick so right now we're sitting at 12 percent i had one of the statues sitting on this chest and when i broke it it just automatically got sucked into the cauldron here so that's why we're up to 12 percent right now but let's drop all of this stuff in there and yeah, I really should probably do the math, right? So I don't drop more in there than I need, but it should be fine. And we're sitting at 95%. All right, that is pretty good. I am actually going to... We need two of these or one of these guys. Let me see what these guys are generating, and I might just uh, kind of rearrange them here. And the lucky winner is going to be Star Mute because they're generating Prismarine, and we do not need that being generated since we have the farm up and running. So right now we're sitting at 95%. This should complete it. There we go. Let me grab a chest and plop the big guy down here so our choices are stone bricks withered limestone gabbro 
rebar, concrete blocks, or rocky dirt. And I'm going to go with rocky dirt because that's going to give us more dirt if we ever have it pop up on a table. We've gotten lucky and not needed it just yet. We haven't had any of this other stuff on the table either. But we'll go with the rocky dirt because we can take that and uncompress it into normal dirt. So let's go with that. And now we can plop the statue up here with the rest of the statues. And we have the rocky dirt being generated now, which is pretty great. But anyways, as we start wrapping up today's episode, I do want to apologize if we are running a bit long on today's episode length. I haven't edited down those last couple vaults. I've only edited the first 10 vaults. And I kind of know how long that's already going to be. And... As far as going through all the loot and stuff like that, it shouldn't be too, too much longer. So maybe we're running about 30 minutes or a little bit over that. I'm not too, too sure. But anyways, the reason I bring that up is because for the first time ever, I'm going to be one of those YouTube people that's like, hey, if you haven't already considered leaving a like or subscribing, please do so because today, today was an episode and a half to get this all recorded and edited down. So I would really appreciate it if you took the time to do so, if you did enjoy the video as always here. But let's place down the rest of all of the vault ore that we gathered up from today. And there we go. That is all of the vault ore that we have on hand right now. As we get some more of the knowledge points here, we will unlock the vault blacksmith to be able to get the higher level of fortune so we can start fortuning all this stuff down in hopefully getting some good returns here. And I also have all of the tomes needed to increase our fortune on our Paxel when we do get around to doing that thing. But for today, that is actually going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed as always, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.